Andrea Northy, and I'm a street outreach specialist. Kate Stragus, and I'm the interim hot outreach team lead. The outreach team's job is to outreach to people that don't have any other support. If it wasn't for the people that have case managers or have the opportunity to advocate for more housing, it was for people that have literally nobody who aren't connecting with any services in the communities. The first thing that we kind of try to do is getting to know them and building the relationship. That's a huge part mm -hmm. um, about what the hot team does is it's not so much as like a quick like where get you signed up, get you going for everything because sometimes life doesn't work that way. Is anyone home? It's Kate and Teresa with Outreach. Anyone here? Conditions in the camps really, really vary. You know, it, it depends. You've got a lot. Of, you've got some folks who will pack up every night and then they don't leave any trace and you don't even know that they're camping to other camps that are really established. You know, I, I think I think the key is just, it's gonna be a slow build of a relationship and it's gonna be listening to what she's saying underneath. I don't know, it'd be nice. Yeah. Cause I haven't had my own place <laughs> for a long time. We really try to be well known to the community. We give our number out to anyone, tell, them, tell us to call whenever they see us driving around town. Um, like Kate said, we meet them on the streets, we go into their camps, uh, we really help people. We're one of the few agencies that can transport people too, which is vital. So, you know, we help take people to appointments. Um, and businesses really know us too. Like. Uh, they'll call us when there's someone sleeping in their doorway. They're like, I don't want to call the police. They're not doing anything criminal, but like, I don't feel comfortable talking to them. So they'll call us. Uh, and yeah, businesses, yeah, businesses, community members, a lot of people call us every day. So the hot team does a, um, lots of intakes. They do them in hospital beds. They do them, um, you know, in detox. They do them at the jail. They do them everywhere. It's really mm -hmm. phenomenal. Um, and it's funny because the standards for what those forms need to be is very specific, um, especially because our data heads at work are like really particular. Um, but I just can't believe like on the side of the road somewhere, like literally in a ditch with somebody, they're filling paperwork out correctly how the state and the federal government needs it to be met out. And it's, yeah, it's pretty interesting how they can do that. I can kind of tell you like an average day. Um, so every morning we start at 7 a.m and we get a pumper pot full of coffee donated by Black Drop, and we go wake people up in doorways with coffee um, because there's a sitting and lying ordinance um, downtown in the corridor. Uh, so if they're in a doorway after 7 a.m., they can be ticketed. And most of the time, people are really receptive to us and um, really nice, and you know, we just kind of get to know them like, if I've never met somebody, I might ask them where they're from or why they, how they get here. We really share their trauma a lot with us and um, their hopes, what they want for the future. And we're kind of that support. I can't fix homelessness, but I can maybe try to make their life a little bit easier. Um, 